Back when I lived in the rural Midwest about 10 years ago, I lived in a house right off of the highway. My house was right between one town and another, almost right on the county line. Our house had a big circle driveway. If you drove in the driveway, you would be going straight towards our barn. If you curved right, you could pull into our garage. If you went past the garage, you could circle around in front of the house and pull back out to where you started. Our house had two large double doors in the front, which we rarely used. We always used a door that was inside the garage. One night, it was very late. My doorbell rang. My husband, my three-year-old daughter, and I were all asleep. It woke me up and I thought maybe I was dreaming. It rang again. I woke my husband up. He thought I was hearing things until it rang again. It was very dark outside, but we have a dusted dawn light, so most of the driveway is pretty lit up. Unfortunately, you can't really see the front doors unless you open the door and look out. You can open just one at a time, or you can open them both by using two latch-like things that are at the top and the bottom of one of the doors. My husband gets up, and I follow him. He decides he's going to open the door. I want to call the cops, but because we live on the county line, we know it's going to be a while before they can get here. He opens the door to a girl, maybe early 20s. She looks normal except for the fact that she's standing at my door in the middle of the night. I look past her and her car is pulled into my driveway just off of the road. Not up to the house. Not around the circle. She says she needs to use the phone. She says her car battery died or something. She's not sure, but she can't get it to start. I told my husband, no effing way. This is how horror movies start in. We offered to call the cops, which would be the county sheriff. She asks over and over, but I am not letting her in. We tell her we will call and she kind of stops off. We watch her walk back to her car, maybe 50 feet away. I'm a bad judge of distance, sorry. I can see her car, I can see her. I call the cops. They say they will be here as soon as they can. About 15 minutes. They don't sound very concerned and at this point... I'm not really either. I mean, it's just a girl. She probably does have a dead battery. She opens the trunk. No lights come on. She rummages around in the trunk. Then the driver's side door opens. Out steps a guy. Then the back passenger door opens. Out steps one more guy. They all rummage around the trunk. No lights on. I can't hear anything. I can't hear them talking, and I can't tell what they are doing. They all get back in the car. Now at this point, maybe five minutes have gone by, and I am silently praying that the sheriff puts his foot on the gas and gets here quick, but I know it's going to be another ten minutes or so. They just sit there, in the car, lights off, not moving. I can't see them when they are in the car, but... I know they are in there. I know they didn't get out of the car and walk past the house because they would have had to walk right under the dust to dawn light. I would have seen them. I think I see the driver light a smoke. That part I'm not sure about. Then I see something. Someone. Walking towards the car from the right. Coming from the direction of the barn. It's a man. I have no idea who this man is. We don't have a neighbor for at least a mile, and he's coming from the back of my property, which ends in a creek. He walks under the dusty dawn light straight to the car. He doesn't look at the house. He just walks to the car and gets in the back. The car starts up, and they slowly back out of my driveway and head north. The cops arrive about ten minutes later, and at this point, I am freaking out. They search around but can't find anything. They ask us if we got a license plate, but they were parked too far away. Tell us to call if they come back. Sure, buddy. Thanks. My husband goes and gets his shotgun from the shop on our property, and we try to go back to sleep. They never came back. 
I don't know who these people were and I don't know what they wanted. Creepy people in a car without a dead battery? Let's never, ever meet again.